We made it to Montana, guys. Welcome. In this video, we're going to be going snowmobiling with the boys. That's right. Alfred's over at the gas station. He's already got his setup ready to go. We will tour that as soon as we get our setup built. So let's go spend some money. First thing we're going to do is we're going to build out a 2020 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD. That's right. We're going to customize this thing with you guys. Let's see. Sport tune. Yes, please. We're going to put the super... High tread tires on this thing because we're going to be going up a mountain with a ton of snow. It just snowed like 10 inches. Perfect for snowmobiling, but we need enough to tow a trailer. So we're going to put TSI rims on it. We're going to color match the front bumper. We're going to add the Z71 badges. Of course, dual mud flaps. We're going to add a custom 307 ranch wrap. So this thing looks sweet. Wyoming wrap. I think it's definitely good for a snowmobiling trip. So we're going to add a couple of uh, attachments too. Let's see. We're going to do a gooseneck and trailer hitch there we go perfect and let's pick a color okay the blue looks clean let's see what's next the grill we gotta black it all out there we go all right this is our setup so let's go ahead and purchase the truck we're gonna buy a snowmobile trailer what is happening to this thing right now but we're gonna load in a couple of snowmobiles this thing was only 26k so not bad for a triple axle trailer and for the fun part the snowmobile this is the mountain king pro the 850 polaris so let's go ahead customize this thing out Alfred's got a red one. I say we match the truck and do some, some different color ones. We're going to do a blue one to match the truck. So let's pick the light blue. Look at that. That looks sweet. Let's see. We're going to black out the logos and then the trim too. Okay, so check this out. You can add the metal accents to be blacked out or you can change it to gold. But I think the black looks sweet. So we're going to do that. And we added red on the skis in the front bumper and then some other accents around the side. So this is going to be our blue snowmobile. We're bringing three snowmobiles along just in case we total one because we're going crazy now let's build out an all blacked out snowmobile i think we'll probably leave the logos in white but this is an all blacked out 850 it's not 850 horsepower it's 185 but that's a lot for a snowmobile and let's pick one more okay i'm rocking with this yellow millennium yellow this looks sweet so let's see if we can add a couple other accents there the shocks too i didn't know you could change that and the track bar. So we got a yellow snowmobile, but this thing looks sweet. And you'll also be able to see it when you're riding. That's what we care about is safety is our number one priority when we're going riding. So this is going to be a good standout. It looks like a traffic cone. And there's our new equipment. Check it out. The blue Chevy. This thing is a beast. This is going to get us up the mountain for sure. We're going to fire it up. We're going to hook up to the triple axle trailer, and then we'll get all the snowmobiles in the trailer. It's super nice to have an enclosed trailer too, because it protects the skis. And also we can bring home anything we need, any supplies we have to bring up. I don't think they actually bring anything. The Airbnb that we have, it's got all the firewood, heat, food, everything is fully stocked. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. We actually need to put on a snowmobile outfit. What are we wearing? Oh my gosh, look at this thing plow through the snow. This is crazy. This is a good ski. All right, hold on. Let's load them in. Be super careful. They're brand new. Oh my gosh, that's quick. All right, we're going to angle it here because we got the tie downs on the side. So it looks good. And now we got the blue with the red accent snowmobile. Very, very cool. Let's take it left there. All right, perfect. I think we'll be able to fit all three, no problem. We might have to push this one forward a little bit. All right, and now we got the all blacked out 850 RMK Pro. Very cool. So, all right, uh, I think it'll fit. All right, they're in the trailer. Let's close up the door and let's head over to the gas station. Jeez, we are actually squatting a lot. I think it's because of the ramp, though. Oh, yep, it was because of the ramp. This 3,500, though, this thing's a beast. We got the wipers going. We're going to pull over to the gas station because we actually, uh, Alfred's got to get some fuel in his Can-Am. He brought a tracked Can-Am. Check that thing out. Wow. So he's going to fuel that up and then we're going to head up to the Airbnb very shortly. It's a cool log cabin style. But Alfred, good morning, man. Look at this Can-Am. When did you get this thing customized? Uh, just got it done about, like, a couple days ago. Oh, so it had the wheels on it before, and then you switched it to the tracks. I like it. It's probably going to do pretty good on the mountain, too. So if we get stuck, you're uh, you're going to use this Can-Am to get us out. So of course, of course. And then I got my 850 Polaris. Oh, you got an 850 as well. I didn't know about that. I thought you had a Skidoo. No, it's a Ski-Doo. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, So you don't have a Ski-Doo. You have a Polaris. Yep, yep, yep. All right, very cool, very cool. All right, so we'll be... uh tied in any races we do because i got the rocky mountain too so we got i actually got three of them in the back of my trailer so if you ever need to borrow one in case yours breaks i've got extras all right we might need them all right sounds good i like the coat too i gotta switch my outfit into a nice snowmobile outfit so give me a second all right that's more like it we got the winter jacket the snow pants the beanie we are rocking in style so all right alfred is actually all fueled up so we're gonna head in the chevy and head up to the airbnb i think we actually can call alfred here let's uh, dial his number yeah hello Yep, Alfred, I'm just going to have you on my phone call so we uh, know where we're going. Because you said you know where to go, or what's the deal? Uh, yeah, I'll send you the navigation. You can lead the way. 
All right, copy. I forgot. We just got navigation on here. So take a right, and then we'll be heading up the mountain. All right, sounds good. I think we actually have like a uh, two-hour drive. Did you say two hours? Yep. Uh, I did not stumble, did I? Nope, nope. It's fine. It's fine. We'll have some fun going on the way up, but we're full of fuel in the trucks, the slides, so we're good for the weekend. And they also got gas canisters up there. So when we run out of fuel in the snowmobiles, we'll be good. Take a left, Alfred. I almost missed our turn, but all right, he's staying behind us. He's got his GMC. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the roads are definitely uh, not the best conditions. A little slippery. They don't really get to plow the roads out here very much. Uh, you know, it's a smaller city, but they do the best they can with the equipment they've got. So we did not actually bring any snow plows, so we might get stuck up there. And we'll get it free of charge because the Airbnb owner, you know, if we're stuck up there, we can't really do anything about it. All right, Alfred, uh, take a ride here. This is actually our entrance to the top of the mountain. It's kind of a weird entrance, but this is the only way up. So maybe we'll run into some more people at the top of the mountain doing some snowmobiling. And it's not too steep. I did map it out on the GPS, I think, a couple weeks ago. And I was looking at the altitude of the mountain. We're not going crazy high. We're going about 4,000 feet above sea level. So it's not that bad. And these trucks, are, they've got enough traction to get up the mountain. And we're in four-wheel drive high, so we are doing good. I mean, look at this truck just go. The tires on these were uh, definitely a great call. We've got the trailer too, triple axle, so I think that'll be fine. That's not going to get stuck in the snow as long as we got the high horsepower Z71. Oh, no. Alfred, where are you at? Uh, I'm on the way. Yep, you see me there? Yeah, yeah, I just saw you turn the corner. What's going on? I don't got those tires like you do. Oh, uh, yeah, these tires, man, they're customized like crazy. I think they're the Neato tires. Yep, yep, I don't have those. I've got these uh, random tires. I don't know. Okay, got it. Uh, are they decent in the snow, or what's the deal? Yep, yep, they're okay, but uh, definitely could use better ones. At least going down the mountain won't be as bad, but this is going to be the toughest part of the trip. The snowmobiles, though, will definitely be okay on the snow. That's what we're here for, so. All right, guys, we will catch you when we're getting close to the Airbnb, and uh, we're going to load the snowmobiles and a lot more stuff. Oh, tight turn, Alfred. Take it easy. I'll catch you guys when we're arriving. Okay, me and Alfred, we made it here finally, and this is the Airbnb spot. We're pulling in. Let's see, the best way to do this is probably back in the trailers because we've got a lot of equipment with us. So I'm going to back in, Alfred. Oh, no, of course he backed into us. Oh, my gosh. I got to back in the trailer. Oh, my gosh. We haven't been with Alfred in so long. I forgot how he just does not care. But all right, here we go. Let's get this triple axle trailer in. We've got all the sleds. Looks good. We're going to actually load them in the garage because it keeps them nice and warm, too. So they're not freezing full of ice, snow when we go riding in the mornings but we're gonna back it straight up to the garage alfredo should open the door for us looks good we've arrived check out the house though looks sweet so this should be fun weekend uh let's see we'll open up the lights too i think there's a light switch perfect there we go open up alfred's door alfred let's unload all the sleds man we're gonna put them in the garage for now and then we'll tour the house and then we'll go for a little bit of like an evening cruise before we eat dinner sound good yep sounds like a plan uh i'm gonna spin the truck around all right sounds good Okay, we got the first sled here. This is the all blacked out one. This thing looks sweet. This is definitely probably my favorite looking sled with the white logos. Definitely very cool. But uh, all right, let's park it right there. Let's grab the blue one. We've just kind of got a choice of everything. Alfred's got the red one. Now, this one's cool too. This is like an American themed snowmobile. Oh my gosh, it's fast. What is going on? Oh no, we tipped it over. We got to push it back over. Oh no. All right, there we go. We got it back on its side. Let's back it off. I'm probably going to take this one for a ride first because like I said, the all black that one you're not really going to see it through the snow as much as like a yellow or blue sled and i think we're going to put riding vests on so when we go riding we're going to have riding vests on just for safety because when it's snowing pretty heavy you really can't see anything further than 15 feet in front of you but wow this thing is quick all right alfred uh, let's unload your can am man let's get the straps off i'm gonna back it off for you i want to drive this thing he's got to throw the ramps down on the trailer though for us and then we should be able to back it off i'll uh, just uh, drive it off you'll be good Oh, drive it off. All right, if you say so. Look at this, the tracks. Oh, yeah, that was no problem for this thing. All right, that was easy. And then he's got his snowmobile, so. All right, drive that thing straight off, man. That's how you got it on somehow, with a forklift probably. Oh, no, he just hit the plant. Oh, no. All right, load it in the sled garage over here. It's quick, Alfred. Be careful. I don't think he's ever drove that thing, but hey, you just hit my yellow one. What Are you kidding me right now? You're lucky he didn't mess up the track there. Hey, 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 all right, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. That's enough fun for Alfred on the snowmobile. I can't wait to get on the trails, but I'm going to stay as far away from Alfred as possible. All right, next part, we're going to check out the house. Here we go. Wow, this is a nice cabin. This is exactly what we were looking for. This is the best place for a snowmobile trip. Alfred, what do you think? Yep, this is nice. I like it. I call the bedroom. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to say there's one bed. All right, fine. I'll sleep on the couch down here. It looks like a pretty comfortable couch, too. That thing's got some cushion. And uh, there's a computer if we want to get some work done. Got a bathroom here. I think there's actually a kitchen with a hot pizza ready for us, Alfred. Look at this. Somebody made us a pizza. Is it DiGiorno? I think, I think so. Yeah, it's definitely. It tastes good. All right, then we got the full kitchen. We can cook anything we want. We got the coffee, obviously. But we're looking good. We got the uh, furnace here. So this is a wood-burning furnace. Premium coffee. What else we got here? Best coffee all town. All right, good. They said they got the best coffee offered, so that's good. But all right, guys. Well, we'll catch you guys when we get settled in here. We're going to bring our bags in and everything. And when we go snowmobiling, we will catch you guys for a little bit of fun. What is that noise? Is that Alfred revving his snowmobile? Oh, my gosh, Alfred. All right, you ready to go, man? Looks like he's got this thing revved up, fired up, and ready to hit the trails. Let's go grab a snowmobile. Let's see. All right, I said I was going to drive the blue one. We're switching our mind. We're going to grab the yellow one. This thing looks sweet. You cannot argue this Millennium Yellow is probably one of the best-looking colors. The Rocky Mountain Pro 850. Let's actually close up the garage. Keep everything warm. That pizza, I ate the whole thing. It was definitely good, but time to head out. Oh, I forgot to close the door. All right, we're forgetting a lot of doors here. Okay, Alfred's got the trails mapped out. We're going to take a right here. We're climbing the mountain, so we're going to follow Alfred. Look at these things pushing snow. Oh, my gosh, they're ripping. Oh, yeah, this thing is sick. All right, well, we're climbing the mountain, no problem. These 850s are a lot of horsepower. We should probably put a helmet on. All right, there we go. We got a snowmobile helmet on just for safety. I think Alfred's going to throw one on, but I'm not sure. He likes to live dangerously. Oh, that was almost a tree. That's why you got to be careful, too. You could spin out very easily on the trails and then hit a tree. So you just want to be very careful on a snowmobile. Speed control. You also want to almost think five steps ahead of everything because that'll keep you safe. But here's Alfred. Where is he going? He's leading the way. This thing is ripping. We're uh, a little bumpy right now. The trails are definitely a little rough, but it's probably because the snow. There's a lot of snow. We're just compacting it at this point. You can see the tracks from Alfred's snowmobile. Here we go. We got to turn. Take it easy. We are flying in this thing. Oh, my gosh. This is sweet. Okay, we're going to take a left up here. I think we lost Alfred. Oh, he's behind us. All right, when did we pass him? He's taking it very, very fast. We're going to go slow and just check out the trails, but we're going to climb the mountain even more. We're going to go to 5,000 altitude. Oh, there's a truck right here. What is this? It's got a recycle sign on it. All right, there's three of these cars. I think they might be a part of the ski resort. Oh, we got a down tree right there. Let's take it easy. You want to stay on the trails too. You don't want to go in the forest. It's definitely not safe. There's bears and other things out there. And you can flip your snowmobile because you're on an incline. So the trails keep it level and you can go fast on them. Look at this thing. We're flying. Oh, no. Okay, we got another climb out here. We're going to go to 6,000 feet above sea level. And I'm stuck in a tree right now. Oh, no, this isn't good. Alfred, he's got a winch on his uh, snowmobile, so he's going to have to winch us out. I got it jammed into the log. The track is messed up. Like, we're just spinning the track. Oh, no. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Oh, my gosh. Hey, don't get that thing broken now. Here, you got to pull me out. Are right, we going to hook up a tow hook to the back of my snowmobile? All right, there we go. He got us out. All right, perfect. Let me detach it here. All right, Alfred, let's go up the mountain, man. We got to climb this thing out. And then we can, uh, around the other side of the mountain, there's a descent back to the Airbnb. And we've got dinner. And we might go snowmobiling tomorrow. So we'll have to see. But this, uh, this is definitely a lot of fun. This is our first big snowfall of the year. And we came out to Montana for it. Oh, we got some woods over here. Okay, this, I think, leads us back into the Airbnb. So we should circle back around any second now. I think we got to take a left right here. All right, I guess we're going to go a little dangerous here. We're going to go through the forest, so... We're going to take it easy. We've got the helmet, though, so we'll be safe. We're just going to go a lot slower than the trails because it's more uneven. But we're, we're making it. This is definitely a lot of fun. Riding the mountain slopes. Oh, wow. That was a big air. I want to hit a big jump, though, and not flip it. Here we go. Hit it. Oh, that was decent. That was decent. It was kind of on an incline, though. So if we can get an incline, decline, then we'll hit a big jump. But, oh, what do we got down here? Some sort of mining facility. Okay, we're going to pass that. We don't need to go there. All right, I'll catch you guys when we're getting back to the house. And uh, then we're going to cook up some dinner. Okay, we actually followed our trails back. We came to this campsite right here to the left. We're going to check it out. The house is down there, but I did not know. There was another building up here. Is this a house or something? I don't know what that is, but it looks like some sort of uh, Airbnb-style house. It's like a modern mountain house, something like James Bond would be living in. But it's possible we could have James Bond as our neighbor. I'm not sure. You can see there's a driveway there. But I didn't tell from earlier because it's covered up by a bunch of trees. So we're going to pull back into the compound, get the sleds in the garage, wash them up. And that's it for riding for the day. We had a ton of fun. It was definitely very cold. It is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's very, very cold, especially with a wind chill. I mean, it is uh, very windy and it's still snowing. So yeah, guys, that's it. We're going to hit the hay and eat some dinner. And then maybe we'll come back for a part two. 
if we can hit 2,000 likes on this video, we will come back to the Airbnb and have a full day of snowmobile riding. So subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.